As we discussed earlier, people can potentially uh, be carriers of diseases on their clothing, uh, but then they, they could also potentially harbor diseases as well and bring them in and, and transmit them into livestock. And so it's important to try to limit the exposure of your operation uh, to visitors. Uh, now, when we think about cattle operations, uh, we often, uh, our cattle operations are utilized for recreational purposes, maybe hunting and so on. Uh, and it also can be utilized as a marketing place for our livestock as well. So we're always bringing people onto our place uh, to look at cattle, maybe market cattle, sell cattle, and so on. And so we, we ultimately we can't eliminate people from coming into the operation and potentially spreading the disease. Uh, but we can do some things to try to limit the exposure and, and, and maybe encourage uh, visitors to the operation maybe limit their direct contact with the cattle uh, which will help to, to re prevent some of the contamination uh, that they could potentially bring in. Uh, one particular area that we, we're really concerned with from a uh, biosecurity standpoint is uh, foreign visitors to the operations that could potentially bring in and carry some kind of foreign animal disease into our operations. And, and that's one of the key areas that I think we have to focus on from a beef cattle producer standpoint is, is to look at those foreign visitors. Uh, we know that from a marketing standpoint, we bring in those visitors uh, to our p particular places at times. But if you do that, try to make, uh, keep, minimize the contact with the cattle as much as possible. Set up those visits ahead of time make sure that we that it's recommended that they be in the country for a minimum of five days before they're visiting the operation uh, to make sure that they, if they did have any contamination hopefully it's gone by by the time that they get to your operation uh, have some play areas set up on the farm where the, those visitors can meet and that would be away from the livestock and then try to limit the contact uh, that they have with the livestock on your operation specifically cattle